Nick Hart, uh, I'm Solution Director for ISOFT, a CSE company with responsibility for Northern Europe, Middle East and Africa. The presentation I just gave was, was related to two areas. One, the, um, the need for people to create um, electronic patient records, the, some of the difficulties inherent in creating those and ways of surmounting that, which allow you to incrementally introduce electronic patient record functionality in a way that consistently builds towards an end piece to an endpoint which is uh, offers completeness of support for clinical and administered processes but without the inherent complexity that people sometimes assume a piecemeal approach will do. So it allows you to uh, install, implement uh, key functionalities such as electronic patient prescribing into a a brown site environment where the, where the context is and the, the systems that they have to interact with is terribly important uh, at the same time as gradually reducing the complexity. The second part of the presentation was to do with how you pay for that or how in fact you get somebody else to pay for that um, and the, the important thing there is, is that the information that you generate when you build an electronic patient record and in fact the information that most trusts own today or have today is actually has huge value if presented in the right way to, to the pharmaceutical industry. The key benefit for clinicians is, is that uh, they can get access to functionality today that will support them today in their processes. So it will improve their ability to communicate with their colleagues, it will improve their information to analyse information from a multiplicity of sources, to just see that information from a multiplicity of sources, and to induce some, introduce some really quite uh, advanced functionalities that, that dramatically impact upon patient safety, such as electronic prescribing. It will allow them to do all that today and mean that they won't have to relearn those applications in three to five years' time, which is typically one of the reasons why once you install a clinical system, you stick with it because the, the effort of training your clinicians to move on to something else is, is almost beyond contemplation for some organisations. The benefits of patients are is that the people who see them, trust me, not trust me, I'm a doctor, trust me, I know I got access to information. That, that's the key benefit for a patient. They, they can have more confidence that the, the people who are seeing them know more about them, have a more complete picture, and will also be prevented from making those, some of those mistakes that we all make, uh, to err is human, uh, that we all make in circumstances, high pressure circumstances such as uh, A&E, such as the, the theatre, such as uh, any, any acute environment. Uh, the, the environment itself uh, actively militates against best care in many ways. So systems are designed to just say sometimes, oh, hold on a moment, do you really want to do that? That's the key thing for patients. The benefit for commissioners is, is that without a good clinical infrastructure, such as they have in primary care today, in secondary care, it's almost impossible to know what the outcomes are. All you really know is what your local acute trust is doing. You don't know how well they're doing it, you don't know uh, how much better they could have done it, you just you simply have almost no idea about the outcomes, apart from morbidity, for example. Uh, so putting in an electronic patient record into secondary care will replicate the kind of information we have today across primary care and uh, so commissioners will be able to much more quickly assess the, uh, the, the quality of care being given but also and probably equally importantly they will be able to access, access that information because it's difficult to access it today unless you will capture stuff electronically all general practitioners commissioning groups rely upon electronic systems they need feeds from other electronic systems the value of the Healthcare Strategy Forum for us is that it, it exposes, it's not really about people like me talking, it's about listening to other people talking. It exposes us one-to-one -one with senior executives from the NHS and we just get an insight. So all the meetings I have set up today, some, of the, some are with customers, we just want to understand you know, what some of the next steps are and it's a good chance to sort of meet people. But most of them are not with our current customers, nor am I trying to push anything at them. I'm not trying to sell them anything, I'm just trying to get access to what they think. And that's sometimes rather difficult for us to, to do. It, it sounds strange when we support the majority of the health service, but it can be sometimes difficult to get that information. I think the thing we like about the healthcare strategy approach is uh, the one-to-one -one nature, uh, the quality of the people who attend, the fact that we know who's attending, that's terribly important, and, uh, and the, well, the unique opportunity to actually say, I would like to talk to that person, whether they be the chap in charge of healthcare for Wales or from our local PCT.